Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's going to be for cancer. It's going to be week three of June 2021. Everybody get on the floor. Let me see you one, two step. All right, cancer, please. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Do we do cancer? No, we did Taurus, sorry. Cancer. Week three. Ooh, the deck is lovely. Lovely, lovely. Say that you love me. the six of pens, the three of wands, five of swords, the emperor, and the knight of pens, page of pens. Everybody get on the floor. Got justice at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so you're on like a mission. You're on like a solo mission over here. You got the Fool, Six of Pens, Three of Wands, Five of Swords, Emperor, Page of Pens. This, the sexual energy here. Okay. Um, I wouldn't even look at this Five of Swords as... <sighs> argument. Watch your back. If you're out and about this weekend, you're hanging out with somebody new, watch your back. Make sure nothing gets slipped into a drink. Because this is somebody who's purposely liquoring, liquoring you up. <sighs> Energy is kind of all over the place here. Um longing wanting to be with you wanting synergy wanting balance to me it's like you're waiting on someone to come to you i don't i don't even think you're waiting if if anything somebody would have to come to you cuz you've you've had enough if you're sitting and doing this you already gave right so you have you either have someone coming at you yeah see this is someone coming at you Someone could be at a distance here. Someone's definitely fantasizing or masturbating to you. This emperor, if you notice his little staff here, is that what it's called? Um, it's like the head of the penis on top of it. And it's like looking right at you. I don't know if they're worried you'd say other people, see other people. This is somebody who... At one point, it looks like you turned your back. Man, I need more here. I need more here. Chariot, wanting to move forward, wing at all costs. Somebody else had that exact combo. It's like not being on the same page, though. I'm telling you, watch your back. This person's behind your back. This person's behind you in every photo. And they're coming right at you. You know, the fool's about being on a journey, you know, um, taking what you have, leaving baggage behind, starting fresh. So someone's coming at you. Or you're going right towards somebody. This emperor might want something more solid or they're already in a marriage or a commitment with that being the four of wands. 
I, I think they want something more solid, but this is energy of not really saying or doing anything. This is like the three of wands is, you know, um, it's, it's, it's patience, it's future, your ships are here. But the song just came to me, hypnotic, funky, fresh. No, that's the song I was just singing. It's like, I feel like they're just kind of like watching you. This this is most definitely, you could just be hitting them up at their house, their place of residence with the four of wands, hoping that they can liquor you up. A lot of sexual energy. Yeah, like I said, that's the hope card, hoping they can liquor you up. If you're out and about, like I said, in a bar, you're getting back out there, just watch your drinks. This is just somebody that's still hoping. I don't see passion. I don't see any of that. Not not with this, you know. Um, so if there's hope here, this is either somebody crushing on you or this is somebody you know. To me, it's, it's probably someone you already know. You turn your back on them because literally your back is turned in every photo. All right, so you could be down with the King of Swords, with the Fool, so you have a masculine coming right at you. There's still somebody in their life, though. You got a woman that's behind closed doors over there, but can see right through. You know what I mean? Yeah, they want to come charm you. With the six of pence. Alright, you got you got Romeo here, so be careful. King of Swords can be a very detached energy. This is somebody who just gives when they want. You, you got strong okay, so the masculine that's, that you're dealing with coming in King of Swords Emperor, okay. <laughs> It's, it's kind of controlling energy, detached energy, and it's to win it, wants one thing. To me, you turn your back, they didn't get their way. So now they're going to try a different approach. Yeah, see with the three of wands, you got the hangman. So it is, it is a situation that's kind of like hung up. Me personally, this doesn't look like this is an energy that's going within. This is somebody who is purposely put something on hold with the two of swords, right? Why they make a decision or, you know, empty promises. So there's that. Pay attention. You could be dating. You might date or meet somebody new with the Six of Pens and the Nine of Cups when you're out and about again. Watch your drinks. Some of you, you could just kind of be like flirting, playing games, but I don't think so. It looks like you turn your back. At one point, you, this was somebody you were probably most definitely intimate with. Cancer. You got the cheetah. You got the cheetah. I'm dealing with the cheetah. All right, it opens right to it. But again, you could be dealing with fire. This is solar force, action, achievement, masculine energy. Okay, so you could be in masculine energy, or this is trying to tell you what's going on with some type of masculine. All right, so the cheetah's force is at work. The sun doesn't shine into the cheetah it shines from the inside this great creature and expands its expands outwards to brighten the universe the energy within the cheetah personality is playable to others and they naturally attract to the bare witness of the remarkable achievements purpose and passion for all the best fuel for the cheetah's forward momentum. So if you're lacking in these areas, reconnect and ask yourself why before you start running. When in balance, you can achieve anything. 
you got boundless energy. When you're out of balance, you're impatient and you're competitive. To bring into balance, reconnect to a purpose. So if you are masculine watching, you got cancer within your chart somewhere. That's like a message for you because it's, it's, it's wanting to take out action, but it's like forceful. It's like going after like what you want. Because it's pliable to others. You know, if you have purpose behind it, fine. Passion. You know what I'm saying? Like, I knew I kind of saw some passion, but I, I did see the sexual energy. You know, it is, it is fuel to move you forward. But you might be lacking in certain areas. So just reconnect before you start running. So if you're out of balance, again, impatient, competitive, you know, and if they're in balance, achieves anything, boundless energy. And I don't see energy here moving. It is kind of stagnant. You just, I mean, you got Prince Charming, but And if that's a message for the feminine, be careful. Especially if you know there's competitive energy around. It doesn't look like you're waiting on this energy though. Let's see if you have feminine cancer. You got the unicorn. Ooh. That's like a major arcana here. Spirit card. This barely comes out of the deck. Reconnect into your higher wisdom or divinity. It's difficult to see or hear or think of the unicorn without immediately questioning, is it real? Did it ever exist? Perhaps long, long ago, the mind answers maybe, or could it be, or no way. This is contemplation explains into the relationship of divinity. Is wavering belief the unicorn? We wonder that divinity is is where we wonder where our intuition comes from and if we can really trust it. So you're probably questioning. We think about the higher power in our mind that hesitates between yes and no and maybe. Is it male? Is it female? Does it have a name? Does it have a feeling? The unicorn card appears to wake you up. The curiosity about your higher self, the divine. It's the card of questioning, exploring, and contemplating. The mind's eye know there is something beyond the day-to-day -day life of the deeper dimensions of our experiences. The mind eyes reaches and reaches and reaches out to gasp for something. Because you are the unicorn and you have begun the quest for the answers. I don't see the feminine doing much here. I, it's, I see you definitely turn your back on a situation. I think you're just reconnecting with you is what this is saying, spirit, divinity. It's like the unicard appears and wakes you up to your higher self. So see, some of you are still contemplating and questioning, or when this energy comes at you, you're going to. So if anything, right now, you might be going within. You do have the hangman, but I don't see it being your energy. I don't see you waiting for this energy at all. This is kind of like um, player type energy. Hold on, I gotta shut the door on Max. This isn't like solid energy. This is somebody at some point, do I want something solid, do I not? So I, I think for the feminine, if anything, you're reconnecting, which is ironic because it's like, I don't even see this here. I don't. So I, I think if anything, it's like when this energy comes in, 
I think that's a big message for you to really contemplate. Like, do I even want this? And you got the queen of earth. All right. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with the challenges in a kind, understanding manner. So it's basically on you on how you want to take this approach. It is warm, creative, sensible energy. All right. So... I'm trying to read this and think about this in a more delicate way for you. I just, I don't see it. Even if I take my eyes off the description, the depiction of the images, it is still like, it's still like Romeo. It's like, where, where is the love? The, it, it's all play, right? So, and the queen of earth won't play. I mean, you have play, but you get to a point where it's like, I'm done, I'm done playing. You know, the queen of wands energy here, right? So it's on you whether or not you want to nurture this. This energy is going to come back. It's like the way they're coming back, though, it is not even like there's like, where is the love is the message I keep getting. It's the king of swords, the fool energy, like coming in, talking. You want to do this. You want to grab a drink. You you know what I'm saying? Like there's. Yes, to somebody is like sexual energy. It could even be lust. OK, so we'll continue this over on Patreon. I hope you guys have a kick ass week. I love you guys and uh, take care of you.